hi <coughs> hi today uh, i am going to take the third scenario in this uh, uh, we have hydration uh, coding and uh, iv push coding so these two things i will cover in the next uh, session uh, today we will see only icd as of like how we have checked the patient name age date of service mri number physician name we need to check all this thing in the chat next coming to chief complaint patient is coming with nausea vomiting in hpa we will see clearly patient is coming with nausea vomiting severely uh, two to three times it has happened from morning and along with this patient is also having severe headache so in order to control uh, nausea vomiting patient has taken the antiemetic medication so this completes the hpa next coming to past medical history in past medical history only personal history is there that is hypertension remaining all are nothing next coming to the review of system in review of system uh, patient uh, is explaining that he is having nausea vomiting in the it is identified that he has a uh, nausea vomiting in the gastrointestinal remaining all are normal only next coming to the physical examination same thing physician also he identified that there is nausea vomiting in the gastrointestinal remaining all are normal only next coming to the workup so as patient is having nausea vomiting he will be given antiemetic that is jofran uh, he has given uh, as a iv route and there is also timing and uh, as patient will be losing some electrolyte uh, he might be dehydrated so in order to get hydrated he will be giving normal saline that is nacl uh, so we have the timing so i will explain these things how to calculate in the next session next thing Uh, coming to the medical decision making as patient is coming with nausea vomiting so patient has given the jofran and normal saline because patient uh, he, he had nausea vomiting right so he will be dehydrated so in order to control that he will be giving all these things and so final impression is nausea vomiting and dehydration and physician will review the old records and we need to check the ed physician sign next coming to the icds so now we will code the icds so what is the admission diagnosis uh, so that is reason for visit patient is coming with nausea vomiting next coming to the encoder pro we will code the nausea vomiting icd nausea nausea in this we have two things one is nausea without vomiting another is with vomiting we have two things we need to check very clearly so nausea vomiting our code is nausea with vomiting is there right in the chart so our code is r level dot 2 this is the admission diagnosis so nausea vomiting so i am giving the icd as admission diagnosis as nausea vomiting so admission admission diagnosis admission diagnosis r level dot 2 next coming to the principal diagnosis so what is the principal diagnosis physician has interpreted here he has given nausea vomiting and dehydration so we got the code nausea vomiting so code is r level dot 2 next is what is the second impression it is given as dehydration right so we will see the dehydration code icd code so we will see dehydration 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 yes we have the dehydration dehydration code is e86.0 we need to check the downwards uh, codes also whether it is a new born or a normal we have separate set of icds so it is only uh, normal patient adult patient so our code is e86.0 so dehydration code e86.0 E eighty six dot E eighty six dot zero. So this completes the ICDs of the chart. In the next session, we will see the uh, ENM level calculation. Any modifier is there? We will code that, and I will explain the uh, hydration uh, IV push coding uh, also. And uh, I, I think I have already explained this, but we will see in this live scenario in the uh, next uh, session. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any queries please comment below